Rais Uhuru Kenyatta aliwasili Northolt jijini London Uingereza na kukaribishwa kwa taadhima kuu na mwakilishi wake Malkia Jeremy Fan Mkurugenzi wa Masala ya Usalama wa Kigeni ya Jumuiya ya Madola Rodi Drummond na balozi wa Kenya nchini Uingereza Lazarus Amayo miongoni mwa wengine na kuanza rasmi shughuli zake huku shajara yake ikiwa na mengi ya kutimiza. We started on Tuesday the president meet with uh, a select investors and those that are interested in uh, the Kenyan market for investment and trade a group of about uh, 20 uh, uh, high-end investors uh, where they discussed a range of opportunities existing particularly within the big four agenda and uh, we came out of that meeting with a great confidence that we are going to see a growth in the quantum of investment in Kenya that is focused on the big four. Then at the London Securities Exchange. Signing of this MOU for purposes of implementing the elite program in Kenya. Rais aliwaelezea wawekezaji na wafanyabiashara kuhusu fursa za biashara zilizoko Kenya. The London Stock Exchange and the Nairobi Securities Exchange are also in advanced stages of launching as we've heard the elite program in Kenya. It is therefore my desire that of my government and the people of Kenya to see increased foreign direct investments into Kenya in order to strengthen the already flourishing trade and economic relations between Kenya and the UK. Then the president meet with uh, a select investors and those that are interested in uh, the Kenyan market for investment and trade, a group of about uh, 20 uh, uh, high-end investors uh, where they discussed a range of opportunities existing particularly within the big four agenda we also had discussions about uh, the collaboration between the Nairobi Stock Exchange and the London Securities Exchange so that we can improve the quantum of business that we list on our uh, stock exchange At the Chatham House, the president gave a big message around his Pan-African view of the world, but also the place of Africa in the global politics and international relations. The United Kingdom has been an ally as well as a business partner. We have worked together to bring peace and stability to a troubled region. We have defended freedom and democracy together from the extremists who employ terrorism to undermine our way of life. And our people have traded with one another, as well as invested in each other. This was streamed live, and it is our hope that Kenyans partook. We have had very good response from across the world, from the Caribbean, the Pacific, Africa, Asia, of people that uh, followed very closely. Baada ya siku ya kwanza yenye shughuli chungu nzima zilizo kusudiwa kuikuza Kenya kama kituo kikuu cha uwekezaji, Rais Kenyatta aliungana na viongozi wenzake wa Afrika kwa majadiliano aliongozwa na Liam Fox hapa Guildhall ikiwa sehemu ya ratiba yake siku ya pili. Baada ya Rais aliungana na viongozi wengine kwa mkutano uliongozwa na Waziri Mkuu wa Uingereza Theresa May. Waziri huyo mkuu wa Uingereza pia aliwaandalia viongozi hao vifa ya chakula cha jioni katika Sky Garden. Prime Minister May, Secretary General, ladies and gentlemen. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you all here tonight. As head of the Commonwealth, I am delighted to be able to host this occasion. President of the Republic of Kenya. 
Kilele cha ratiba wa Rais Uhuru Kenyatta kilikuwa mkutano wa jumuiya ya madola siku alhamisi. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to all of our Commonwealth heads of government. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the arrival of Her Majesty the Queen. I was just five years old. I consider myself fortunate over the years to have been able to meet and talk with so many of the giants of the Commonwealth. Sir Robert Menzies, Kwame Nkrumah, Sir Keith Holyoke, Jomo Kenyatta, Pierre Trudeau, Kenneth Kaunda, Julius Nereri, Lee Kuan Yew, and many more. On the foundations they laid, the modern Commonwealth has a vital role to play in building bridges between our countries, fairer societies within them, and a more secure world around them. It remains a great pleasure and honor to serve you as head of the Commonwealth. Overall, a great week. A number of anticipated outcomes that we had planned for. Ready to return home to implement the number of commitments that we have reached during this meeting.